Welcome back to Foundation. Now, in, all, in the last episode we built so many things that I've completely lost track and I am even batch recording. So I should be able to keep track. But most importantly, we did complete this second rustic church and that gave us enough splendor with the clergy that we could now start the production or, or construction of a proper church. And uh, that will help. We're also building warehouses here and here for basic construction materials so that the builders don't have to always go here to get those. And we are also working on getting up a proper tool chain with a new warehouse for that here. And um, is there anything else? Yeah, we got the bakery here complete and now we are building a well for that. And also we are building this wheat farm here so that we can have wheat fields behind here. We might need a second windmill, but I don't think so. Now, I see we have a villager spot available here and we have five people unemployed, so that's not very difficult. Put one of them in there. Get more flour. So this is starting to become quite a bustling village. Although, with a lot of churches for <laughs> 91 people and they have two big churches and another one incoming. Albeit, these two are rustic churches still. And four more people. I guess that means we're doing something right here. I almost said wrong. I think all of these market stalls have been filled. Yes, good. How about here? We could do with more berries, but I'm not sure if it's you're supposed to maintain selling berries as the game progresses. Seems a bit weird. Especially considering having six foragers is definitely not enough to supply everyone with it. I think we need to assign a couple more builders. There's a monk approaching. I think I forgot that envoy who, <laughs> who was supposed to visit in the last episode. I probably lost that. Or did I? I don't remember. I just remember that there was an envoy approaching and I don't know if I actually attended to them or not. Not that it's a huge crisis. Uh, what is the desirability layer out here? Yeah, we... Oh, that's something I can do. I could uh, assign these to be treasuries so that we can uh, store more monies. Nearly 3,000 now. But I think I want to build a couple of... Um, This better have a... Yeah, it does. Uh, we, let's build some uh, decorative trees around this area. Is that a house? If it is a house, why are there living people here? It does have high desirability. Oh, okay. I don't mind. You guys want to live there, by all means. Let's also build some uh, decorative bushes. Because bushes are pretty.
Yeah. That'll do. Four new villagers arrived. Good. You'll have to wait in queue. There will be jobs available very soon. Oh, they, are, they are very happy now. Five unemployed. farm done. Let's pause the game so I can uh, paint a crop field for that. Which means we need to move these things away. Mm, let's see here. go too close to the road in case we want more tailors so let's just make it like that Hated when I managed to click down the right mouse button at the same time as the left one. Yeah, that looks good. And we can assign three farmers. That leaves us with two unemployed. The monk is requesting an audience. The clergy desires tools. You know what? That's too bad. I'm keeping it all. Ta-ta! And now all of a sudden we're getting all the berries. Not sure what that's about. Three new citizens. Very good. A warehouse has been completed. Uh, so this warehouse should be set to accept wood, tools, stone, and probably also polished stone. Those are the main building materials as far as I've been able to tell. Do we need to put a villager in here? No. We don't. Not yet. Warehouse number two is complete. This warehouse will accept coal, iron, and tools, and there's a sword. So it is very likely that the fourth item in this one shall be swords. But we're not going to assign any uh, villagers to it yet. I like this pile of wool.
I'm of half a mind to assign more people to these uh, stone mining things up here. It appears that the tree is in the way. That's not ideal. That should help. Yeah, that helps. How many unemployed do we have now? Two. There's a lot of more of new people coming in here. That's good. Uh, there is some stone up there, and I'm very tempted to buy that uh, territory here. It would also be a good location for a keep. And you know what? I'm going to do that. Buy this land. Now we have a substantial estate here. Our bailiff is available for a new mandate. Uh, there are more mineral deposits. Are there any estates that we require more influence with? Not really. I guess we can take some with the kingdom. Three new villagers have arrived in the village, that is good. We can put an available villager in each of these two warehouses then. This church certainly is taking up a lot of our... Uh, our um, stone. Now, I haven't checked. Can we? I mean, we're, we're making cloth. Ah, these guys are buying them. Why on earth am I not selling them? Let's set this to 200 and sell all above. And I'm not sure I want to be selling planks anymore, but uh, let's sell planks above 200 as well. As for berries, let's stop trading those. Can we buy them? We would have to unlock the trade route with the middle, which we will do, since we can do that for common clothes. None of these places... Well, jewelry is nice, but none of these places buy anything that I feel that we need. But I'm wondering about this marble mine. I mean, what do we need marble for? It doesn't really tell me. It produces marble, which is... that That is all well and good, but what is marble used for? I mean, we could build marble walls, so that would be entertaining. But um, maybe it's something that we haven't gotten yet. I'm not sure. I don't see the point in extracting it so long as uh, we don't need it. flower 33 and 100 so we have plenty of flower and we have three unemployed i think that one thing we can do then is build a lumber camp up here i don't want to build it like that I want to build it like this, so that it has access to the road. A 
And this one I want to prioritize now. Two new people, very good. That well is done, that is also very good. It seems that the citizen elite likes to live around the Lord Manor. I wish I could modify these things up here to make it... Can I? Local resource panel. Here I can. That's a bit of a shame. It would have been very nice if I could influence what goes here. Because I would like to pay attention to how many polished stone we have. I mean, I can always... That is something I can do, actually. I can just have this open here. Where did we get a gem from? Are we still buying those tools? Because we are definitely lacking tools currently. Yes, we are buying. I don't want to sell fish either. Well, I suppose we could sell fish if we have above 200. Lumber camp is done, which means we have, yeah, we have three people we can put in here. Now, if this didn't take so much space, I would have this here, but this takes too much space, so... Two new people arrive at the village, that is good. It would appear that we could make do with more fisheries. Uh, that might be a good idea, actually. That is outside of territory, of course. Let me put that thing back on so I can see where I'm building. Invalid position. Yeah, you guys are going to have to move that road a bit. Because I need more fisheries. There we go. I'm also wondering, when this stockpile here is done, I think that I want to uh, move the... Uh... Hold on. Do I only have one granary that is accepting grain? That's probably not too good. Uh, the, um, the stone polish... Well, to be honest, having two of them would not be a bad idea because they are very slow on those, I notice. Or we're using a lot of it. Probably we are here. Although they do have what they need. Ah, they still need some polished stone for that. But 
this one is set to A. Another villager incoming. Very good. Iron smelter is done, so we can assign two villagers to that. That means we also need one in here, but we already have that. Good. Do we have anyone unemployed currently? Nope. Promotion available. That's something we need to look into. And I don't dare promote to uh, to this just yet. I still have no idea what that icon is. It looks like an armor or some kind of a bushel. No, I really don't know. It doesn't really matter either. We'll find out soon enough. Brewery takes water, wheat and hops. At some point we probably should consider doing that. Planks, iron and tools. Not sure. Do we have any? We have no villagers available, but we will have wood and stone, tools, and polished stone. And we also want to build a stonemason's hut. I think we want to build that on the other side here. Preferably a little bit away, actually. So... Maybe there. And we got a new villager, so that's Altfried, who will be working here. I think we need to expand this as well. Edit... Um could do towers. We have plenty of planks. We do not have many stone. But the wooden tower will also require stone. I don't know how much. Okay, so it won't require a lot of stone. It does not look very pretty though. I don't think so. How about a wood extension if we move it that way? That also doesn't look very nice. We could only make that bigger. I don't think that was the one I attached it to. That was the one I attached it to. And this one is 1.10. Should be there, yes. 20 planks and 16 stone. That 
Come on, attached to the correct one. There we go. Uh, wall banner. Yeah, we do have enough cloth for that now. We can build two of those. And a wall fountain. That requires polished stone. We don't have that. Let's have a couple of uh, of these. And start construction. We're probably building way too much. What is our status on cloth? We have plenty of cloth. So we could build another tailor's workshop as well, and we shall indeed do so. But we will prioritize this one. And we need more miners. But I don't think we have anyone who is unemployed currently. There's also something to be said about building another granary up here. Four people decided to join. That is very, very good. This makes me very happy. We need more people badly now. So let's build a granary here. What the heck? Which part is this and how the heck did that happen? It's not that one. I, I think we want to remove that, because I don't want that to be up there. Thank you. <laughs> I, I don't even know. I, uh, nope. Just nope. Uh, we also want to build another... Ah, the quest is completed. We have built a church. We, we want to have another stonecutter's camp out here. We're making very good progress now. They're sure taking their time in time terms of that polished stone. That's taking a long time. Blacksmith is complete. We need two workers here. Just need to wait for the new villagers to arrive. And uh, speaking of which, Monk is approaching the village. Let's assign a villager to this one as well. I was thinking that we should have a market here.
kind of difficult to get these aligned. Not that you necessarily want to have them aligned as per se, but I just think it looks better. So, fence. We want to have a fence along the, uh, the road here. So, the good stall can have a sign there, and the food stalls can have a sign here. And can start construction. should have yes one unemployed you go here Taylor's workshop complete very good granary complete that is also good we need a worker here though but this one will accept berries Bread. Um, aha, herbs. That what it is. That is what it is. And fish. new people now we're starting to uh, get some polished stone at least yes what hello you want wood that's very easy, actually. Lord Manor Stone Set Tavern. Well, I need to start working on the splendor for the kingdom, uh, which means we need to build the wooden keep. We do have plenty of uh, planks, planks and uh, wood for that, so that should not be an issue currently. Uh, we can just unlock that. Hunter probably wouldn't be bad either. Yeah, so the uh, herbs are from the monastery. Hmm. Uh, tavern, let's unlock that. And let's unlock the uh, stuff for the tavern and the stone set. Let's also unlock these. Which means that what we need the most currently of is kingdom. So we shall assist the king and send him that wood. Now I don't know what the tavern does, but I would not be surprised if what the tavern does is make sure that people get their beer and wine and stuff like that. Okay, so it's one of these. Uh... Hmm. There's a lot of things we can do with that, but I'm not going to build that now. But apparently, let's see here. Yes, we go. I do want to build some um, tasty wall banners on my Lord Manor. since they give a lot of splendor and we have plenty of cloth. Large stone door. I don't strictly believe that this one is necessary. So 
we have edit. We have a door. This one. We will remove that one. Then we will edit it and we will add a large stone door instead. Because stone is obviously something that we uh, have a lot of. We are getting more of it though. Ah, and we have reached the time for the episode. So, yeah. If you have questions or comments, as per usual, please do feel free to leave them in the comment section. And uh, also feel free to join us in the Discord server. You'll find the link to that in the description below. But for now, thank you so much for joining me. And I will be seeing you all hopefully in the next episode.